Here's a really common mistake that people make when it comes to choosing the size of your brush for painting. Every time I've taught an introductory painting class, people always go for the tiny brushes first. And I get why, because when you have a brush that's this thin, it feels more like a pencil, which is a much more familiar tool for a lot of people. And with a little brush, you just have way more control. What I see a lot is people using these tiny brushes and holding them the way you would hold a pencil. But this isn't a great practice because if you're holding it like a pencil, this is really tight and stiff. And so you're not really maneuvering much with your brush. What I recommend, get yourself at least two brushes that are really big. A lot of people are really scared of a brush this big and I get why. They're awkward. It's not easy to paint something very clearly with a brush like this. Big brushes get you to paint much faster. And that's really important in the beginning of a painting when you're trying to really block in large shapes. With a tiny brush, it takes forever to do that. Instead, I hold it more at the bottom and I paint in all different directions. Now at first, this is gonna feel really out of control because you don't have the control of holding it like a pencil. But long term, holding your brush and really maneuvering and twisting your wrist, it's gonna give you a much broader range of marks. A big brush like this, it's gonna feel really awkward and very klutzy, and you're gonna make a painting that feels very sloppy at first, but it's so much faster. What I recommend is to stay with the big brush as long as you possibly can, probably longer than you think you should, but that's what makes you a much more efficient painter. You guys think that these tiny brushes are your friends, but they're not. They make your life tougher. Things take so much longer and you won't loosen up, which is really important for getting diverse brush technique.